Hi guys, welcome to my next tutorial. Today I'd like to show you my new project uh, for a hat. Um, this hat I made with a heart motif. So as you can see, all the way around we've got little hearts. Um, and also on the top we've got pinwheel top finishing on pine wheel top finishing. So our hat is not completely flat as you can see, but on the head looks beautiful. For this tutorial I used crochet hook 4 millimeters and baby spackle DK yarn. Um, it's 100 grams, so basically I used more than a half a ball. Our hat, we need to start by making chain of 96. I am using, as I said, I am using crochet hook 4 millimeters. So at the moment, my I've done ch those chains. So my work, it measure about 19 inches long. So now we need to make a slip stitch into the first chain. And this is the most important thing. You have to be careful to not turn the chain. So we need to put the crochet hook into the first chain and then you have to make sure that all of, of your chains are outside. So the stitches are outside from the both sides. After that, so as I said, slip stitch and we need to work one single crochet in each chain all the way around. So in each I am working one single crochet. So now we need to continue to the end of our round. So at the end you should have 96 single crochets and then we have to work the slip stitch just into the first stitch. So now we will start making another round. We need to start by making chain one and then in each stitch we will work one single crochet again. So in each round we should have 26 single crochets. So now we need to finish this row, so round number 2, and then we need to work on to the next uh, 7 rows. So in total we should have 9 rows of 26 single crochets. I've done my nine rows of single crochet and at the end of each round we need to work slip stitch into the same stitch as we've done slip stitch onto the previous round. So this stitch is not count as any stitch but we've got slip stitches into the same line. Now we will start working on our uh, head pattern. So for our pattern we need to start by making another two rows of the single crochets. So now we've got nine and we need to make two more rows of single crochets. So we've got 11 runs of uh, one single crochet in each stitch, so again we still should have 26, 96 single crochets. Now we will start working on the pattern uh, with a 
chain one space so into the first seven stitches we need to work one single crochet one two three four five six and seven then chain one we need to skip next stitch and then into the second we will work single crochet so this is the first single crochet and now into the next 10 stitches we will we will work one single crochet again so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so basically we should have 11 single crochets after chain one space so if you've got here chain one space you've got one two three four five six seven eight one more time one, two, three, four. I think I've done two stitches into the same stitch. One more time. Chain one space. And we've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So chain one space, then eleven single crochets, and then again chain one space. We need to skip the next stitch and into the second first single crochet. So now we need to repeat the pattern: eleven single crochets, then chain one all the way around. At the end of our round, we will we will do only the four single crochets so now we've done first one we need to make 10 more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've got after chain one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now chain 1, skip the next stitch into the second. You need to make first single crochet and repeat this pattern to the end of our round. At the end we have to make the last 4 single crochets and then we are making slip stitch into the same stitch as we've done slip stitch on the previous round. Now into the first five stitches we need to work five single crochets so one two three four and five chain of two one and two we need to skip the next two stitches and now into the chain one space we need to make single crochet then chain of two again one and two we need to skip the next two stitches and then into the next seven stitches we will work single crochet one two three four five six and seven now chain of two one and two we need to skip the next two stitches and again we should make single crochet into the chain one space chain of two and now again into the next seven stitches we need to we need to skip first two stitches and into the next seven stitches one single crochet one two three four six and seven so then again chain of two skip the next two stitches and again we should have 
chain one space and we need to work one single crochet into that chain one space and then we need to repeat our pattern all the way around. At the end of our round we need after the last chain of two we need to make the last two single crochets and then slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now we have to start next round. So now into the first four stitches we will work one single crochet. One, two, three and four. Then chain of two, one and two and now we have to skip the first single crochet and into the chain three space we will work one single crochet. Then into the single crochet from the previous round one single crochet and into the chain two space one single crochet. So as you can see, because we've done three single crochets one next to another, we actually skip the first single crochet and then first chain one. And now chain of two, so we have to skip the second chain, the first single crochet and into the next one we need to work first single crochet. So now we need to make four more single crochets. One, two, three and four. So we've done five single crochets. Now chain of two, one and two and again. We have to skip first single crochet into the chain two space. One single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round. One single crochet and then into the chain two space. One single crochet. So we need to now make another chain of two. We have to skip the second chain, the first single crochet and now again into the next five stitches, one single crochet. One, two, three, four and five. Chain of two. We need to skip first single crochet into the chain two space. One single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round, single crochet into the next chain two space, single crochet, chain of two, we need to skip second chain, first single crochet and we are start making five single crochets from the second stitch. One, two, three, four and five. So now we have to repeat this pattern all the way around. At the end of our round after the last chain of two we have to work the last single crochet slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now into the next three stitches we need to work one single crochet. One, two, and three. Now chain of two, one and two, we have to skip the first single crochet, then into the chain of two we are working one single crochet, into the next three stitches one single crochet as well, so we've got two, three and four single crochets at the moment. Now we've got chain of two, so one single crochet into that chain of two, then chain of two, we need to skip the second chain, the first single crochet and into the second stitch we have to work one single crochet. So as you can see again we skipped one single crochet and actually first chain. So we've done first single crochet, now we have to work two more. One and two. So again three single crochets. Chain of two we need to skip single crochet into the chain two space one single crochet into next three single crochets one single crochet so one two and three into the chain two space another single crochet then chain of two so again we've done five single crochets now into the next two stitches single crochet in each stitch. So we've got three. So the pattern is 
three single crochets, chain two, five single crochets, chain two, and another three single crochets. Chain of two, and we need to repeat this pattern. At the end of our round, we need to work the last chain two, and then we have to skip the second chain and the last single crochet and then we are working slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now chain of one we have to skip the first stitch into the second we will work one single crochet then chain of two we need to skip first stitch and then into the chain two space one single crochet and into the next seven stitches we will work one single crochet as well. One two, three, four, five. So we've done single crochet into the first chain two space, then single crochet into the next five single crochets and now into the chain two space again. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets. Now chain of two, we have to skip the second chain, then the first single crochet. Into the second we will work one single crochet, then chain of two, we have to skip the first single crochet and now we have to start to repeat our pattern. So into the chain two space, first, sing first single crochet, into the next five stitches one single crochet, so one, two, three, four and five, single crochet into the chain two space, so basically again we've done seven single crochets, now chain of two, we need to skip the second chain, the first single crochet, single crochet into the second stitch and again chain of two, skip the first single crochet, one single crochet into the chain two space, then in each single crochet, one single crochet into the next chain two space and we have to repeat this pattern all the way around. Now at the end of our round we need to make the last chain one space and then slip stitch, how we need to skip the last chain of one and then slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now chain of three, one, two, three, so we have to skip the first single crochet, the chain one, the first single crochet and then next single crochet into the chain two space we have to work one single crochet, then we need to work single crochet into the next single crochets from the previous round, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then into the chain two space next stitch, so eight, so basically we've done nine single crochets now and then again chain of three, one, two, three, we need to skip the second chain, one single crochet, then uh, the first chain, single, single crochet into the chain two space, then into the seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven into the chain two space again and we need to repeat the pattern. So chain of three, one, two, three, skip the second chain, single crochet into the next chain two space, one single crochet, then into each single crochet, one single crochet into the next chain two space. At the end of our round, 
I've done the last nine single crochets so now we need to work slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round and now next two rows we have to repeat exactly the same so we need to start by making chain of three single crochet into each single crochet from the previous round so one two three four five six seven eight and nine then chain of three again single crochet into each single crochet from the previous round so we are repeating exactly the same as previous round and then we have to work one more rows like that so we should have three the same rows now we have to start next round so i've done three the same rows three the same rounds and now we will start by making chain of three again so we have to skip chain chain to space now into the next four stitches we have to work one single crochet one two three and four now chain one we have to skip one stitch into the next four stitches again one single crochet one two three and four and then again chain of three one two three and we have to start to repeat our pattern so into the first four stitches one single crochet one two three and four chain one skip the one skip the first stitch into the second single crochet so we have to make another four single crochets we've done first so now second third and fourth chain of three we need to skip chain three space and then we have to repeat the pattern at the end of our round when we've done the last four single crochets we need to work slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round now chain of one one single crochet into the chain three space chain of two we have to skip the third chain the first single crochet and now into the second chain one single crochet second second stitch from the previous round one single crochet and into the third another one chain of one we need to skip the next stitch and into the chain one from the previous round one single crochet chain one we need to skip the next stitch into the next two stitches one single crochet and then chain of two one and two we have to skip last single crochet into the chain free space we have to work one single crochet then chain of two again we need to skip the first third chain then the first single crochet into the next two stitches one single crochet one and two chain one skip the next stitch into the chain one from the previous round one single crochet chain one skip the first stitch into the next two stitches one single crochet one and two and again chain of two we have to skip first single crochet into the chain free space one single crochet then chain of two again we need to skip the first third chain then first single crochet into the next two stitches one single crochet chain of one we have to skip one single crochet into the chain one from the previous round single crochet then chain one we have to skip the first stitch into the next two 
one single crochet, chain of two, and we have to repeat this pattern all the way around. At the end of our round, we have to make the last chain one space and then slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now we have to work one single crochet into the first chain one space, then into the single crochet from the previous round and two single crochets into the chain two space. One and two. So now we start our run by making four single crochets. Now chain of two, one and two, we have to skip the next two stitches and one single crochet into the chain one from the previous round. Then one single crochet into the single crochet and one more single crochet. Again, I've done wrong. Um, so we have to skip two stitches, one single crochet into the chain one space, one single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round, and one single crochet into the next chain one space. Now chain of two, we have to skip the next two stitches and two and now into the chain of two we have to work two single crochets one and two then into the single crochet from the previous round so one and into the next chain two space two single crochets so now we've done five single crochets after the five single crochets we have to work chain of two we have to skip the next two stitches and now into the chain one from the previous round one single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet and into the chain one one single crochet chain of two so the pattern is five single crochets then chain of two three single crochets uh, yeah from here we've got one more time three single crochets chain two five single crochets chain two and again three single crochets chain two we have to skip the next two stitches and another five single crochets two into the chain two space one into the single crochets and another two into the chain two space one and two chain of two we have to skip the next two stitches and we need to repeat three single crochets first one into the chain one second into the single crochets and another into the chain one again chain of two into the next and uh, we have to skip the next two stitches and into the chain two space two single crochets into the single crochet one single crochet and into the next chain of two two single crochets so we have to repeat this pattern again all the way around at the end of our round we have to work the last chain of two then we need to skip the next two stitches and into the last chain one we have to work one single crochet and then slip stitch into the slip stitch from the previous round. Now we have to work one single crochet in each stitch and in each chain all the way around. So again we should have 96 single crochets in each round and then we have to repeat making one single crochet in each stitch for the next 15 rounds. So our head pattern is already done and now we have to work 15 rows of 96 single crochets. I've done my all rows of single crochets so now we have to turn 
the hat on the wrong side and what we have to do now we need to divide top of the hat for a four section so it's hard to show you like that they have to be the same so maybe we can do like that we have to mark by using stitch marker one side so we've got one side then another one then we will mark the other two and we have to put all this into the center So now the best way is use the first stitch marker and put into the same stitch as you marked before. Exactly into the same and now we can take one off. Then another one we will put into the same stitch as those two before. then we can take that off and we've got the last one and we will put into all those three stitches so one two and now I have to grab the third one <laughs> not that easy as I thought okay I've got all three so now we can pull that one and now we've got one marker into the center we can actually fasten off the last stitch and cut the yarn and now we need to sew all those parts into the first first row by using yarn needle so my first one I will do in each stitch to the, to the center of the heart
so just keep working just to the last two stitches at the moment we have to keep this stitch marker into the center then we have to work another three and at the end we can sew the center with the rest of our stitches okay so I've done my four parts so now as I said we have to remove marker stitch or stitch marker and we have to sew the center of the hat When we've done the center, you can see that all the parts are turning into the same direction. Now we have to turn the hat into the right side and as you can see our work is supposed to look like that. So now we will start working on the ending so we have to take our yarn and crochet hook now we need to join into the same stitch as we've done the slip stitch so chain one this will be first oh, one more time chain one this will be first single crochet and then oh dear, and then chain one as a chain one space now we have to skip the next stitch and into the second I will work single crochet now we need to skip next stitch and then into the next one single crochet but first we need to work chain one so skip next stitch into the second single crochet and again chain one skip the next stitch into the second single crochet so we have to repeat this pattern all the way around chain one skip the first stitch into the second single crochet then chain one skip the next stitch into the second single crochet at the end of our row we need to work slip stitch into the first single crochet now we should have chain one into the chain one we will work three double crochets one two and three and into the single crochet we need to work slip stitch so we've done little shell now we are going to the next chain one space and into that chain one space we will work another three single crochets three double crochets one two and three into single crochet slip stitch and then again into the chain one space three double crochets one two and three slip stitch into the single crochet so we have to 
repeat this pattern all the way around. So we need chain one space, three double crochets in each single crochet, one slip stitch. When we've done the last one slip stitch, now we have to work slip stitch into the first double crochet, then into the second. Now we have to work single crochet into the same stitch, chain one. You have to skip the third stitch, slip stitch and the first double crochet again, then single crochet into the second one. Chain one and again we need to skip third stitch and we are working single crochet into the second double crochet, so into the center of our shell. So now we have to repeat this pattern all the way around. So single crochet into the center double crochet, then chain one. When we've done the last chain one, we need to make slip stitch into the first single crochet or actually even instead of the slip stitch we can start making single crochet. So now into the each stitch, so into the each of single crochet from the previous round and into the each chain one we need to work one single crochet all the way around. So into the chain one and then into the single crochet into the chain one, into the single crochet, all the way around. After the last single crochet, we are not making any slip stitch, but we will start straight away making the next row. So, just in case, you can mark that stitch as the first one. And then, long, and then we can start making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around again. So now you can keep making rows with one single crochet in each stitch until your hat will be long enough for you. So at the moment we are making second row. Okay, I've done my hat. So basically now we need to work slip stitch to the last single crochet, to the first single crochet of our round. Then we can fasten off and cut the yarn. Uh, basically I've done two more rows of the single crochets and my hat, the length of my hat is uh, perfect. So thank you for staying with me to the end. Hopefully you will like this project and see you in the next tutorial.